hi guys good morning and welcome back to my channel yes it's your girl again victoria of victoria vlogs today is going to be a really really busy day for me um i'm going to the nigerian immigration headquarters here in abuja nigeria to do my daughter's nigerian passports i'm really not looking forward to all that stress even though they've somewhat made it easier but i do not know what to expect i would brief you guys while i'm in the car on the way there the nigerian immigration they've changed their system so you're not going there for data capture you're just going there for i mean you're not yeah data capture you're just going there for like your facial capture and your biometrics capture so hopefully it's seamless and it's easier i've printed what they require of me i think it's um your nin slip um your booking confirmation that's your appointment confirmation and your payment so you make payments online now i think for her because she's just she's below i think five years she's below she's just six months her hers was um i think it was what you call it, it was twenty six thousand naira yes it was twenty six thousand naira um yeah because she's only doing five years with the thing 32 page booklet so i would carry you along as i go guys so a lot of back and forth that we've been doing um, first we had to write a consent letter because it's a child and now because my name is different I've been asked to print out um, my marriage certificates because my last name is different from that of my husband Okay guys, um, so just leaving the immigration headquarters right now. I think the time is currently 2 30 pm and I've been here since um we've been here since probably 10 15. It was such 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 a long day, I must say. The, there were just so many things that they informed us to do on the website. I feel like their website should be more interactive. We filled um, a form online and we made our payment online, like I said earlier. But on getting to the headquarters, they asked that we write a consent letter because Adana is a minor. So both her parents have to consent to her passport being prepared. And I'm guessing this would also probably apply if we're leaving the country. They would probably need her father's consent if he's not fine with us. Um, they also asked for our marriage certificate. This is because my name is still my maiden name or my passport and not my married name or my current name. So yes, I had to, we had to print out our marriage certificate and show them as evidence as well as the bio data of our passport pages. Oh. And then it has to go through approval and after approval, we had to go upstairs for anyways you get my point it was such a long process but i'm glad that it's all done now and we are heading home i'm so tired and it's just so hot i went with a wig and halfway i just i just had to take off the wig because everywhere is so hot i don't know about you but it is hot so i'll see you guys when i get back home ciao
today has been so hectic like i'm so happy to be back home i'm just chilling i'm with the air conditioning and the nigerian immigration every thought that i had in combat like i was really just to my husband i said i was supposed to be quick in and out you know plus like when you know someone that you feel like okay they will help you you would have if we have vip treatment too and we got all this like we hey god it was vip like we did our capturing in the vip office and still i guess because in nigeria there are so many vips so but um, today was just so crazy like i'm so glad it's over uh I'm just thinking to when I have to renew <laughs> my passport again. If I'm going to renew my passport again, it's going to be 10 years. 10 years straight. I'm not entering Nigerian immigration. Maybe by then they would have figured out how to run a seamless process because, ah, what did I see? Kilagbe Kilaju. Anyways, so some pa the parts that I didn't show on the clip, I'm just going to just explain it now. After we printed out, um, marriage certificates we took it back to um, the gentleman that was assisting us with the process um, he then took all the documents that we presented the documents that we presented were the appointment confirmation payment slip, the NIN my, I and my husband's um, passport data page consent letter and the marriage certificate so he took all of that for approval at his Oga's office and from there they took it upstairs where that's the VIP capturing room so that they would I don't even know they took the file upstairs anyways um apparently to impute some I don't know I felt like we had done that online already but anyway they needed to do something upstairs so then after that we were taking to all the time we were waiting in the um VIP waiting area <laughs> I wish I did a video of the VIP waiting area. It's like um, a hall with like chairs and two or three fans and three ACs that were not working and the five or six ceiling fans that were blowing hot air. We waited there, we were there for about an hour, there, an hour there about, then they came in, they were calling people, people were going upstairs, calling people, so then the gentleman came with our file, and, um, oh yes, we also have to take Adana's um, um, photograph, we have to take her photograph, even though we were going to capture her, they still needed a physical passport photograph, so we took that when we went to print our marriage certificate. So the guy came in and um, called us at an Elizabeth. We're like, yes, yes, yes. Now also it's us, whatever. Can we like go upstairs now? Upstairs was like the promised land. So finally we went upstairs. I was with her nanny. It was so hot. So my husband had to leave. He stepped outside to just sit in the car. But you know, all of us couldn't like leave because we were waiting for him. Things I just had in front of the fan, and um, um, what do you call it? So we went upstairs, and they said, Oh, it was only one person, they were practicing social distancing, blah blah blah. So my um, Adana's nanny couldn't sit inside the VIP um, capturing area with us, so she waited for us outside. They also have seats outside as well. So, um, when Danny came, he came and sat inside. Because some people had already left, so they allowed him to sit inside. And we were the last set in the VIP um, waiting lounge, whatever. So, anyway, we went in for our capture, and the lady was so, 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 so nice. And she was so pretty. Like, she just kept saying, Oh, Tana, she asked us when we got back. You know, she was just very, very nice and very pretty. And, you know, it was just amazing. It was really quick. I had to carry her and take her picture. So, she asked me to sit sideways like this, my leg up, put Adana on my lap, and 
her face facing the camera. So we did that and it was like one shot and we got Adana's picture. It was so good. It was so good. Like her picture was very, 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 very nice. Actually, she wasn't really smiling, but it was a really nice picture. Like, you know, when you give that, like, that, um, what do you call that thing now? Like your model face. Like, it was really nice. Everyone complimented her picture. So we were done with that. She gave us her files go back to one office and all we had to write was um captured by some I can't remember um with details I don't know I can't remember so anyway from there we gave it back to her you know we said our buys and that we were done and we left you know I'm just so happy that that one is out of the way so it's maybe in around two three weeks her passport will be ready and we'll go and pick it up glory be to God hallelujah Anyway, this brings us to the end of another vlog. Thank you guys as always for watching and thank you for subscribing. I see all the love. I see all the comments. I'm so overwhelmed. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Mm. I wish I can throw kisses to everybody. But thank you, thank you, thank you. Please continue to like and subscribe. Remember those milestones have to be met. I love you all and thank you so much.